So I'm Rachel Burke. I'm the Agave Restoration Coordinator for Bat Conservation International. Being here in Tucson, a lot of you guys have probably already heard about nectar feeding bats. They show up at your hummingbird feeders in town later in the summer, um, make a mess of your porch. Um, but they're natural food sources. They rely on nectar and fruit from columnar cacti and nectar from agave species. And when the columnar cacti are done flowering and fruiting, agave is their most important food resource. And so here in Arizona, you have the Mexican long-tongued bat and the lesser long-nosed bat, which was removed from the endangered species list in, I wanna say 2018. Um, but it really, really relies on healthy, intact agave populations to feed on in the late summer months so that they can build their energy stores prior to migrating back to Mexico. Agaves are like a literal bridge for these bats. So we're gonna be planting 50 agaves that were um, grown out at Borderlands Restoration Network. Um, so these are agave palmeri, uh, which is a local species of agave. It tends to grow in slightly higher elevations, but these plants are gonna be getting taken care of, so they should do fine. Javelina really like to seek out young agaves. They'll dig them up for water. So normally we just do like a little bit of wire, um, like a wire skirt along the base of the plant to protect them. But since this is like a literal bridge for wildlife and there's gonna to be tons of javelina going across it, we're doing like full on cages to really protect the plants while they're young so that they can get established.